This Chimera video is all about Swath Editor and that is the traditional line by line data editing mode which has been superseded by area based editing. However, Swath Editor can be very useful and I'll show you how. Here we have our Chimera projects already built with our raw source files and our dynamic surface. I've highlighted a line that I want to go into Swath Editor mode with and I click on my Swath Editor button and it automatically goes to the start of that line. Now there are a number of windows that can be displayed in the Swath Editor and you can in Chimera save your different windows in different workspaces. So I've already created ones just for Swath Editing and the Swath Editor mode here shows the, the a cross track view as if you're standing on the seabed, the plan view as if you're looking from above and the ping delta as it's called which is the side view of the data. You can expand the number of pings that are used in here just by using this slider and a few things to note in here is that the swath editor here every single one of these points is actually a refracted point. So it's doing Chimera doing a full refraction for every single one of these points. There's a few options here. You can either just have them as points like this, or you can draw lines to connect those points together. Auto track here means that the 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 slice that's currently loaded up is in the center of the screen and will the 4D view will then adjust to where that location is. And auto zoom is making sure that the bounds here expand to the edge of the uh, the data that's shown in here. Um, there are some uh, edit modes here. We can select valid data in here. We can select invalid data here. That is by just uh, just a normal box square. And we can also use this eraser tool, which is a bit like um, Photoshop. And, uh, and some of the paint and uh, the photo editing programs where you can enlarge and, and, uh, and reduce the size of the of the eraser and then you just rub out the data there. Now that's normal Swath Editor mode but this is where Swath Editor becomes really useful um, and that's to see where your data is. I'll view, zoom in here again um, now we have different ways of seeing where the heads are here. We have um, the dual head, because uh, this is a dual head EM3002 data set. Uh, we can show just the, um, the port head and we can show just the starboard head. And within each one of those we can show just the port proportion of the swath or just the starboard proportion of the swath. And that's back on and that's just on the port. That support. So you can select which head you want and whether you're port or starboard of that head as well, which is kind of useful sometimes when you're trying to see where the data is and what's happening. One of the other really useful tools here is you can show rejected soundings. So this will display the rejected data in all the views here and on the 4D display here. If I zoom out to this one a moment. And if I track along as if I'm going down the line here, you can see the 4D display updating to keep it in the center of the screen. Where this is really useful is if you're trying to see how much data I can discard from the outer beam, see how much overlap I have in the data here. And if I move up to a shallower area up here, Come in here, I can just come over and select another line. And if I've saved any edits, it will save it before. It will also then update the dynamic surface to take into account any of the edits I've just made. And it will open it up back here as well. Now, here not only are we showing a 2D view, we can also see that data within 3D. So now you're looking at the points that are on that swath. And as we move through the data, we can see the pings and we can see the effect of the outer beams as well. 
And remember, this is only possible because we're refracting every single one of those points. So every single one of these points has had a full sound velocity refraction, so it is showing in exactly the location where it is used in the data set. So that's swath editing, and um, it's a really useful tool to adjust your survey lines and your data processing.